hello everyone so in last video i covered the theory portion of this engineering regulatory body that is 10.6 from the council exam syllabus which is nepal engineering council act and regulation so if you have not seen my last video please go and watch that so that you will be um, familiar with the theory portion of this so in this video i'll be covering the mcq question for this portion so let's go to question number one so which is which act established the nepal engineering council as a statutory body okay so if you have gone through the theory portion or the previous video there we have discussed that the answer for this so which act established the nepal engineering council act as statutory so remember this word so was it nepal engineering council regulation 2056 no council code of conduct no it discussed with the ethics nepal engineering council act 2055 accreditation no accreditation means providing the accreditation to the uh, training and all so this one c number is the correct answer okay let's go to question number two what is the purpose of the nepal engineering council code of conduct okay so remember the word code of conduct so to establish a registration procedure for the engineers no to define ethical standard remember the word ethic it came in code of conduct so to define ethical standard and professional responsibility for engineers yes this one is answered let's go to other also to accredit no this was for accreditation act and to outline the requirement for continuing professional development no this was under cpd act okay so b number is the correct answer let's go to question number 3 so it is which which regulation outlines the procedure for registration and renewal of engineer okay so nepal engineering council regulation okay so let's see this later nepal engineering council code of conduct no it was for ethics nepal engineering council accreditation regulation no nepal engineering council continuing professional development no so nepal engineering council regulation act was there for registration and renewal of engineers so a is the correct answer let's go to question number 4 what does the nepal engineering council accreditation and regulation focus on okay so options are so i have already shown you this answer so the options are professional conduct for of engineer no ethical standard for engineering no procedure for accrediting the engineering program yes this word is there so c is the correct answer let's go to question number 4 which guideline provides a framework for engineer lifelong learning okay lifelong learning so did you remember the word or the uh, or the rule from the previous video yes it was cpd okay so nepal engineering council code of conduct no nepal engineering council continuing process development cpd yes so b is the correct answer let's go to next question what are the objectives of nepal engineering council okay to promote and regulate the engineering profession okay so to establish ethical standard okay so this was under um, what is called code of conduct to accredit no this was under accreditation to provide guideline for continuing process it was this was under cpd so answer is to promote and regulate the engineering profession in nepal okay so a number is the correct answer let's go to question number 7 which regulation specifies the eligibility criteria and requirement for different categories of nepal okay so nepal engineering council code of conduct was this the answer so all this things i covered in the last video that is theory portion so please go through that video code of conduct no it was for ethics accreditation no nepal engineering council regulation 2056 yes this was the answer last one is for cpd that is continuing process of development so c is the correct answer let's go to question number 8 okay so again answer is there so question number 8 which act provide the nec with the power to make necessary regulations and guidelines so nepal engineering council act yes this is for making necessary guidelines and regulations this is for ethic this is for accreditation and this is for council regulation okay for renewal and all next one is what is the purpose of nepal engineering council continuing professional development that is cpd okay so to define the ethical standard no to accredit no to establish the eligibility criteria for engineering registration no to provide a framework for lifelong learning yes lifelong learning is under cpd so d is the correct answer let's go to question number 10 
which regulation defines the ethical standard and profession of course i hope i i i hope you guess the answer so code of conduct word comes here so a is the correct answer fine okay so that's all for the mcq portion of this and i think uh, there will be question only from this topics only because it, it is a very short topic okay so again thank you for watching my video and in next video i'll be coming with the topic 10.5 that is mcq question for 10.5 okay so have a nice day and thank you